Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, today uh, we're going to be working on this uh, Dometic awning. Actually, we're not going to be working on it today. Funny story, I was here yesterday, we worked on this awning and I lost some footage. Uh, the file got corrupt or whatever and uh, I lost some footage. Uh, so the first half of this video is shot the next day. The second half was shot yesterday when we actually did the work. Now yesterday also, I started to introduce this as a working on an LCI awning. Totally not true, it's a Dometic awning. And the, uh, the customer is gonna be helping me with this one, uh, as you may hear me later talking to him or you may see him on camera. Uh, Cameron was not with me that yesterday. And I um, apologize too up front, the, uh, they were mowing here in the campground yesterday and uh, so the audio was a little rough. Uh, when they got up here where, where we were at with the mower. So apologize for that up front. I want to show you something here real quick. Coolest thing I've seen all week. And I hope the birds are still flying in and out of there. But let me show you this. I don't want to get too close because I hope the birds are still here. Uh, I hope we didn't harass them too much yesterday. These little birds were flying in and out of that. That is a, called a butthole birdhouse coolest thing I've ever seen. Watching them birds fly in and out of that birdhouse was the coolest thing yesterday. So I really hope, uh, I really hope they didn't leave. Uh, they weren't real happy with us yesterday. So anyhow, let's, uh, let me tell you what we did to this awning. So this all started last fall, I think in September. Customer called me, said the awning won't roll back in. The awning was all the way out. So I came on site, we checked it out. We had power going to the motor, but the motor wasn't doing anything. So that tells us right there we had a bad motor. Um, I, uh, I ordered a motor at that time. Didn't get it until the week of Christmas. And this campground was already closed by then. And when they can't close this campground, it's gated off and you can't get in here. And it doesn't open back up till the last weekend in April. So, we came down yesterday to replace this motor. Now, I'm gonna show you something here towards the end of this video about, about how to work this, ma this awning manually if you need to. And uh, actually, I'm gonna go more in depth on this uh, on a uh, Tech Talk video here real soon. So watch out for that. Um, but I had this just, I had this tied off just like this with a zip tie on each arm to keep it up for the winter. Um, Cause like I say, it was out when I got here. So we did the uh, manual override thing. Like I say, I'll explain that a little bit here towards the end of the video. And we got it rolled up, stored for the winter. Then yesterday we came and we got the awning out. We just rolled it all the way out so we could work on that motor out here so it's it to me it's a lot easier to change a motor on these if the awning's out like i said i lost this footage right up until the point where we were drilling the rivets out so from there on will actually be yesterday's video so i i just hated to lose this whole video just because i thought it was a good one so that's why i came back down here today to um, do the intro again so uh now Stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, so we got all three of them rivets out. Now all we do is unplug the motor. Again, I'll show you that here in a minute. When we get it down on the ground. Let me get that bolt out quick. Yeah, you're gonna have to come back here and pull down on that arm. Yeah. Just, just, yeah, right, right there you go. Okay, hold it right there. Alright, 
So all we're doing is slipping this old motor out. Toss it on the ground. Oh, and I can't reach my new one. Oh. Slide the new motor in. You'll see there's little notches in that motor that correspond with notches inside the roller tube. Just like so. Let me get the motor stuck back on the arm. Like so. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this motor in. Start putting this thing back together. tough on a guy with bad shoulders. Uh. I'll let you. You gotta open it up all the way. Oh, well just go ahead, it'll fall out. Got it, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Awesome. She works. Like a champ. All right, went in. Now we're going to roll it out. Like I say, sorry about the the lawnmower noises, but I can't make them. Uh, I can't make them quit mowing just because we're doing a high quality video production here today. So she went in twice and out once. Awesome, looks great. There's that plug where we plugged the motor in. Uh, it's just a two pin connector and those those bolts that we took out they're an allen head bolt one there and one right here and that's if you need to move that thing manually in or out that's what you have to do you have to get those two allen head bolts out and then this will rotate on the end now it destroys the wires you can see how it's wadded those wires up because that the motor's been turning you know and this has been stationary so so it, it don't do this you know unless your motor's already bad because if not you're going to end up buying a motor but uh so there you have it it's just a really quick video on how to change your motor in your domatic awning i'm really sorry about that lippert in the beginning there but in your domatic awning and uh that's all it is um i forget these things if you have to buy these i think they're pretty pricey uh, this one was covered under warranty, I hope, because we started this warranty claim last September. I don't know. So anyhow, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, y'all have a fantastic day.